up to five meters in height, the giraffe is one of the largest terrestrial animals in the world. In order to survive, it has to pump blood from its heart to the brain, two meters above it. Its heart must therefore be exceptionally powerful. Indeed, the giraffe's heart is as powerful as to pump blood at a pressure of 350 tors. This system, which is normally fatal to human beings, lies in a special compartment equipped blood vessels capable of dealing with this potentially lethal That section leading from the head to the heart contains a U system formed by veins running up and down. The blood vessels in the direction neutralize the total pressure, preventing sudden hemorrhaging caused by internal pressure. The legs and feet also require special protection parts descending downwards from the heart. The fact that around the giraffe's legs and feet is very thin from the negative effects of blood pressure. There are also small valves inside that can halt the strong flow of blood and thus bring the pressure under control. This threat, however, arises when the animal lowers its head to the ground in order to Under normal conditions, blood pressure, intense enough to cause a brain hemorrhage, would increase even further in this situation. But, all this precaution has been taken against that danger. A fluid secreted inside the body enters the equation and reduces the amount of blood pumped by shrinking the volume of the heart. There are also special valves in the animal's neck that come into play when it lowers its head. These valves significantly reduce the flow of blood, thus permitting the giraffe to safely drink and raise its head again. The thickness of the giraffe's many layers of veins is another precaution taken in the face of the threat posed by this high blood pressure. <laughs>